Well hello everyone and welcome to a very laid back edition of Wildry Garden and today I am still in France and I'm currently on holiday with the family so just taking a little time out to just recoup in the middle of what has been a very busy season in terms of the landscaping I've been traveling all over the UK however I couldn't help but want to just bring you this video from a lovely little sunny spot in the corner of this garden where we are staying at this magnificent chateau here in northern France. It is in the Mayenne region of France and it is beautiful. I'll put a couple of shots in for you guys to see but it is absolutely just exquisite. Just one night at the end of our stay and what a place it is. And I couldn't help but notice that in this area of mown lawn, which I wish wasn't mown lawn to be honest, is this little corner of perfection. Now behind me there is an absolute wealth of butterflies. It's just alive. Hopefully you can see them all flying around behind me, but I've got, it was here a minute ago. There's a large white there. Most of these are meadow brown butterflies. We've also got quite a few gatekeepers. There's been a female brimstone around as well who's been enjoying the sole plant that is bringing these insects to this area, and that is lesser knapweed. And it is a plant that I would highly, highly recommend for you guys. It's one of my top three vital plants for your wildflower meadow. If you have one at home, if you haven't got any black knapweed, lesser knapweed, common knapweed as it's known, then make sure you get some in your garden because next year you should be expecting to have scenes like this, hopefully. I mean, in all honesty, France seems to me to have a lot more biodiversity in terms of the butterflies at least, and insects in general. Um, so it's slightly biased, but I really cannot emphasize how important knapweed is as a food plant, guys, for butterflies, moths, bees, hoverflies, and lots and lots of insects. So do get some in your garden. Obviously, you can get some from the wildergarden.com online shop if you do want to pl plant some in your garden, and it is a really vital plant. But I just had to bring you this quick video to show you how much you can attract to a small corner. I mean, this here, it's probably no bigger than about 15 square meters, but there must be at least 20 to 30 butterflies in this at the end of the day. I know it's a pretty hot day today. It's been about 28, 29 degrees, and it's still that temperature now at five o'clock. So it is pretty warm, uh, but it's perfect for them. And we are towards the end of the flight season for several of these butterflies as well. So I wish I could have been here about three, four weeks ago, because no doubt there would have been even more butterflies when they were first emerging. And that kind of first two weeks of July, uh, in fact, most of July really is an absolute just boom of butterflies throughout the Northern Hemisphere. No doubt you guys can confirm that wherever you are around the world, especially if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, as I say, but. I mean, these things are everywhere. There's meadow browns, like I say, in absolute abundance, even at the end of their flight season. These things, not these in, these particular individuals, but some of these butterflies will have been on the wing for several weeks, but as a species, they, were, they have been around since the middle of June and we're now the middle of August. So meadow browns, again, just kind of like the main butterfly species, if you like, that make up a butterfly summer for me. You can expect to see them everywhere. They are the reliable species if you like, and they have such a staggered emergence that quite often they can be seen into September. So a really great opportunity to get to know these butterflies. We've also had some emperor moths flying around, which I've not managed to actually get a photo or some video of yet. We've got a couple of gatekeepers there just battling it out on the top of the knapweed. And it really is just a magical, uh, place to spend a few moments. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I just thought I would say hello from France, let you know what I've been up to. Um, obviously there will be more videos coming up on the channel of some of the butterflies and other insects you can expect to see and more importantly, how you can attract them to your own garden. So stick around guys, lots more to come on the channel. As always, thank you for the support. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already give the video a like and I'll be sure to bring you many more videos on all of the Leopardoptera I find throughout the UK 
and further afield. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all soon.